Hello everybody, today I will be doing a Murder Drones OST tier list because I for some I somehow have not done that yet, and there's a lot of them, so don't expect me to go into a lot of detail. I know most of these, I might have to go back and double check which ones they are, but uh, I just wanted some slop content because I didn't want to uh, make something like uh, with a script. So I'm just going to do a tier list, and I thought, hey, I haven't done this yet, I've been meaning to do this, so I might as well do it like right now. Okay, anyways... Uh, starting off, we have disassembly required, obviously starting with an S tier. Um, like, it is the classic, a lot of people still consider it one of the best, myself included. Yeah, I mean, what else can you say? It's a classic, it's the first one they showed off for a reason, it's pretty dang good. Second one is murder drones, which is A tier. I can't, I would... I love this one, but I can't quite put it in S tier because these are like the best of the best. So, A tier it is. For what it is, though, it's pretty dang good. Con consider me impressed. That one was actually pretty dang good. Holy. Okay. This one is going to be going in. You know what? I, I did not expect it, but this one is going in A tier. It's really good. For what it's trying to do is very ominous. I did not expect that. That is chill. A very funny name. I like the name a lot. Yeah, this one is. I'm gonna put it in C tier. Uh, it's nothing special. It's just okay. Okay, how do I describe it? It's very much a background OST. Nothing you would go back to listen to. This one I'm considering moving down to B. Which, by the way, yes, this is ordered. This one is better than this one. Of course, in my opinion, because this is not fact, but, you know, just thought I would mention that. Okay, this one's also going to go in A tier, and I'm going to move uh, Uzi doesn't read the assignment back down to B tier, because it's not quite as good as a lot of the things I'm looking through here, and seeing like, oh my gosh, this is pretty good. So I'm going to move it down to B tier, but it is pretty dang good. I just wanted to make that clear. Uzi the Drone Killer, very short, but it's very memorable. Everybody knows it. B tier. It's it's just a middle of the pack decent one. Maybe C tier you could argue, but I I think the pilot OSTs are overall pretty good. So B tier B tier is fine. We will get a lot more C tiers later, especially with Volume One, which I think is probably the weakest overall. This one, Goth Girl Anime Lover vs Wholesome Killer Boy. Um, uh, I'm considering A or B tier. Because it's, I'm going to put top of B, and then move Whispers in the Sky down to C, actually. Uh, because this one starts off really slow, like a C tier, but then it get, then it ends off really strong, like on an A tier. So I think B tier is a, a solid ranking for it. This one, and Assembly Drones Leader, it's, honestly, I don't really like this one that much. D tier is for ones I, like, actually, absolutely hate. Which just kidding that's not actually true because i don't actually hate any of these but i think there has to be a d tier at some point and i think this is going to be our first one anyways v and j seem nice uh this one is once again a very middle of the pack ost i'm going to put it between whispers in the sky and that is chill it's nothing special it's just okay okay this one hmm I think this one also is going to go top of B tier because it is very ominous and as you can tell I like a lot of, I like ominous OSTs as you can see with this one this one I think it fits the pilot very well and that is why it's top of B tier not really anything to say about it Jin Rummy this one I'm going to put an A tier just below murder drones it is actually really 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 good one of the best in the Pilot, I actually have to say maybe like the third or fourth best I love this one a lot and I because this is the part right where N kills all the um the WDF members so obviously it has to be a really intense scene and I think they pulled that off pretty well okay the daddening uh starts off like Uzi the drone killer so that's pretty good, but then literally the next half is literally like basically silence. So I'm gonna put it around that as chill area. 
of just like not that memorable but not that bad either okay this one the plot too it is a very emotional song for the pilot uh i'm not sure exactly how to feel about it it's not amazing i won't i don't think it's an a tier but and i don't really think it's i think it's like ironically right next to the first plot it's just very solid uh an emotional surprise to be sure but beyond that it's just you know it's fine which is how I feel about a lot of the pilot OSTs, other than like the A tiers and above, a lot of them just like, okay, it's fine. This one is really, really, really good. In fact, I've struggled, I've struggled with this question a lot on whether I think Murder Drones or Click is a better OST. I think Murder Drones is slightly better, but, so I'm gonna put it right below it. But you can see as Murder Drones and Click are goaded OSTs, and only one of them is an S tier so far, which is disassembly required. You can see how strict I'm being with this S tier compared to my other tier lists. I'm gonna keep S tier for the best of the best. Like literally the best of the best. This one is just a simple solid melody. It's fine, I guess. I might put it in D tier just because D tier is very small right now. It's very simple, like I said. It's like one little like five second thing repeating a lot. Mm, you know what, I'm gonna put it in D tier. Note that the D tiers I don't actually dislike. I just think that compared to the rest of them, they're just okay at best. Okay, this one is like the very end, so it's obviously it leaves a very climactic feeling. And I think it does that pretty well. I don't think I'd quite put it as good as Whispers in the Sky, but it's still pretty solid. So C tier it is. The trailer theme. Oh boy, this one is very confusing. On one hand, the lyrics are whack and very dubstepy, but on the other hand, I don't actually hate it. I actually kind of like that, but I don't, mm. you know what? A tier is, mm, A tier might get a little higher later. I think for now, I'm gonna put it top of B tier because, I, mm, no, actually I changed my mind. I'm moving it up to A tier because it's about as good as Uzi the Drone Killer. Now we're getting into the episode two OSTs. This is the when the manor, uh, when N is walking through the manor and it's just okay, honestly, I think. I'm gonna put it in D tier. It's not a very strong start for episode two. And honestly, I think episode two probably has the weakest of the OSTs overall. So that's not very surprising. This one, Buddy's Chilling. Honestly, this one's probably one of the better ones from episode two, maybe. I think it's fear. I think here is fine. It's fine. It's just, like I said, a lot of the episode two OSTs aren't that great. So I'm just gonna speed run through them pretty quick. Okay, this one is mostly just ambient, so it's gonna actually go at the bottom. Like, it's the worst one so far. This one mixes melodies a lot, and I'm not sure exactly how to feel about it, but it's not actually that bad, so I'm just gonna put it bottom of B tier. It's not terrible. Yep, once again, episode 2 considered this, uh, continues its mediocre soundtrack, uh, and it, okay, that's a lie. It, oh, AJ's OSTs are all great, but in the scale of Murder Drones, I have to stress that a lot. I think this one is relatively mid. Okay, at first I was thinking this was gonna go in D tier, but the ending was actually pretty good, so I'm gonna boost it up to here. See, notice how the best one has only been a bottom of B tier. That should uh, that should say something that this is not necessarily great. Eldridge J X D. Uh, I hate I hate that name, but it's obviously the best one in this. Like, it's not even really close. Uh, I think it's honestly going to go mid B tier. Not a very strong showing for episode two, but uh, I think this one was the weakest OST wise and in general, but that's a topic for another day. This Russian one was just Doll's introduction and it was amb ambience, ambiance, however you want to pronounce it. It is next to Buddy's Chillin', maybe a little bit lower and lower than that. It is. Once again, okay, honestly, this is going to be a hot take. I think episode three also is one of the weakest OSTs. There are high highs, and I know I made a poll about this a while ago. And episode three, absolutely sweet. And I was surprised, okay, I wasn't that surprised, but I was surprised to me because other than, you know, the goat, the one of the goaded songs, the high highs, it's just overall, eh? And that applies for this one too, which I think is actually a D tier. 
this one honestly goes very well for this scene, and for that, I'm going to boost it up a, a, quite a bit. Bottom B tier, just because I think it goes really well with the scene. Okay, just listen to this one. I actually don't like it. Um, is this actually the worst one so far? No, it's not. It's not. Okay, obviously this was made to make the scene more dramatic, and it goes does that really, really well, especially at the ending. So this is going to be a once again bottom B tier song. Get Prawned, I don't even need to look at this. I remember this one. It's better than Murder Grimms, better than this. Better than this? No. The Knife Dance. You know what? This is going to be our second S tier. Yep. I think, I think it deserves it. And also, I would get absolutely destroyed if I didn't put that in S tier. But... Ignoring that, I think it is actually really, really, really good. And there's a reason everyone likes it. Yum Yum is the... I hate the name. These names, bro, are... These names are hilarious. I love them. This is obviously Doll's Apartment. It's just okay. Somewhere in C tier. Oh, this is the Tessa scene. That's why it sounds so much like episode 5. Honestly, this one's A tier. I like this one. Better than this. This one might go down to B tier, but honestly, oh yeah, I don't have that many A tier, so it's fine. 98.7 is a really good start for what I think is one of the stronger OSTs in the show. I'm going to put it right here, above Get Prompt. Call in three. It is a very solid start for, you know, like I said, the episode 4 OST, and it's a really good background song too for the scene. So, it's going to get that little boost up there. Camping.mp3. Very campy, campy one. It's fine, I guess. Um, probably around here. I'm confused. It has a very mysterious vibe to it. And usually I would put something like this really low, but I do appreciate what they were going for. <laughs> but we haven't had a D tier in a while, so I might have to. And it's worse than that. It's chill. You know what? Fine. Fine. Like, this one says it's literally just noise. Like, I just listened to it, it's literally just noise. So, obviously, it's going to go in D tier. Silver Uzi, okay. Okay, come on. Come on, it's S tier. Even if you don't like episode 4, I've seen everyone who doesn't like episode 4 defend the music of this scene because it goes so incredibly hard for no reason. In fact, I think it's better than the knife dance. I know that's a hot take, but I think it is. It's actually so, so, so good. It actually, in terms of... Uh, the quality, I think it's better than Disassembly Required, but this, since this is a personal list, I'm going to put Disassembly Required slightly higher, though they're like right next to each other. Falling For You, another really good one that I think is going to go right here. I do actually know this one, surprisingly. It's a very emotional song, and I, I like that. I, I do very much enjoy when they do that, if it's done well. Magic School Buzz, go to song, you already know. Uh, I'll put it lower than Get From, just barely. But as you can see, compared to Episode 3 and 2, Episode 4 has a much stronger standing overall. I think now we're on to Episode 5, right? This was a very mysterious song, though I do appreciate it, like I said. It's a B tier. This one's a very traditional kind of song, and I really like that. Something unique we really only got from Episode 5 is these kind of, like, classical songs. But the Murder Drones does it very well. Um, hmm, I think this is a good spot for it. The Human Gala, I know this is a lot of people's favorite from episode 5. Uh, better than that. Yeah, better than Get Prompt, better than 90 second. Better than Falling For You, I'm gonna say no. Hmm, no for now, but it's pretty high up there. Dark x 17 or Crozies. It's actually pretty good. Uh, I think this is like around one of the, the plot ones. Live, laugh, love, obviously, in the basement. Once again, it's supposed to be an ambiance, mysterious kind of song, and that's fine. Just not my personal taste, so... Um... This is fine, around this one. From Del Bucket. Unironically, like, no jokes, this is actually one of the best ones for episode 5. I think it's definitely... Okay, I'm putting Murder, Tr Murder Brings down. I'm sorry, bro. I can't... I, it does not stand with these ones. I think this is a good spot for it. You didn't have, or whatever, you know, when Then is getting the cups thrown at her and all that. It's fine. It's it's okay, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna put it in C tier, actually. 
Yep. Both equals very scary. What a name. Solid song. What can I say? A lot. See, a lot of these are in B tier because a lot of them are just like kind of like background. They're fine. But then some of these go actually above and beyond, and that's what really separates the A tiers from the B tiers. Boom. Gentle. One of the best ones from episode 5. Again, an A tier. Like, it's actually surprising how good this one is done. And that I didn't know this one before. Honestly, surprising might be better than Frontal Bucket. Yeah, it is. Okay. Did not expect that. Eternal Dream. Okay, you already know. This is going S tier, the second best. And yes, I do think it's the second best, but it's close. It, it's so good production wise. You know, they actually have singing. It's very, very good. This is one of the elusive S tiers. And it is obvious. This was no questions asked. Like, how could it not be? This song is so good. I could glaze it for hours, but I'm not going to. Because I have a video to do, and this video is already getting pretty long. So I'm gonna have to, you know, skim through these, but very, very, very good one. And it's no surprise why this one is this high up. Like, I, I think you all know. The plot three, surprisingly better than the other plots. Around the same spot, though. Okay, yeah, that's pretty dark. I think this is when they're walking through the hallways. Right? This one has that eternal dream in the background, and I love that. This one is might get A tier. I love the subtle eternal dream in the background. It's just absolutely peak. Just amazing. I cannot stress that enough. It's just I love when they do that. When they put like little songs in the background with eternal dream. They do it a few times throughout the thing. You know, it's fine. This one, wow, that's pretty dark. It is, I think, a worse version of the of the original one because they don't have that eternal dream in the background. So it's gonna go right here. Earth. Ooh, this one was actually really good. The rest of the episode six OSTs for the most part are all bangers. This was like a holy crap moment in the show. And th the Sentinel theme in the background. I'm a sucker for, for the Sentinel theme. This one is so close to being, I think it, mm, I'm gonna put it higher than Jin Rummy. Actually, it's that good. I think it is that good. I really do. Speaking of really, really, really good, Sentinel 000D, so, so, so close to being S tier. I think it's actually better than the Murder Drones and Murder Drones and Click. If I don't have that many S tiers, I might move it up. But for now, I'm going to keep it in, a, in the top, top of A tier. Oogie Woogie. Oh my, oh my gosh, Puppy Playtime. I just listened to it. I remember where this is and this one. Like I said, like I said in the beginning, we're going to get begin to a lot of really, really banger, banger, really good ones later on. Um, this has that falling, falling with you kind of thing with it. I'm gonna put it higher than Get Prompt. That's a nice hallway. You ever see a hallway that? <laughs> what are these names? This one is um. This one's just the went on the walk through the hallway. Not anything special. I think this is the only episode six one that's not getting B tier or above. It is just solid, and that's it. This one beating out Sentinel Zero 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 D. Mm, yeah, just barely. I think it's better than Sentinel 000D. These two are very similar to me. I confuse them a lot, but I think they're both like really, really, really good. So, honestly, S tier competition. If I had an A plus tier, these two would be like in there along with, you know, these. I think it would cut off like right here. Probably is where the cutoff would be. But we don't have an A plus tier, so it's fine. And now we're on volume three. And volume three, I think, is by far the best out of all of them. Starting with Mountain and Science, a very strong track. Um, you, I'm sure you know what it is, but uh, I think it'll, I think it'll, I think it'll be here. I think this is a good spot for it. Gamer Mom, I think this is the Tetris. It is, and this one is honestly, once again, very, very, very peak. You're gonna be seeing a theme with that. When you forget to pray, okay, this one. This is one of those ominous ones that doesn't sound the best that I'm going to be putting in A tier because the amount of the ominous nature they put in this is so well done that I think it just has to be this high. Uh, yeah, this one's just okay. This is the this is one of the weaker ones, I think, in the episode 7 and 8 OST. That being said, it's still really good. I think this is a good spot for it. 
Hey guys, I just wanted to say what's up. Uh, once again, a very ominous one. Uh, this is a good spot, I think. Run. Okay, this one I know is very well liked. And for good reason. It's actually really good. But I don't think it's as good as a bunch of people say. I think it's slightly overrated. I'm going to put it right above. Right above gentle. That's a good spot for it, I think. Your eye. Once again, a very good one. It's just kind of a, a bop actually so i think this this mm, this is a good spot i think surprisingly a very gentle theme for a not very gentle character and i'm a fan boom b tier again a very uh, okay one it's just you know it's fine it is a song in the ost as you can see i'm probably i'm running out of things to say about these like the ones that aren't like absolutely amazing you're freaking grounded okay this is gonna go again in s tier i think below silver uzi is a good spot this is obviously during these uh uzi and versus n and nori fight i know this is totally his favorite song it's not my number one favorite but it is definitely up there it is so good like holy holy gazingas it <laughs> holy gazingas holy gazingas it is so good that, that's all I really gotta say about it. The action goes so hard, and the reason the action in that scene goes so hard is partially because the song is so is that good. Hang out. Again, one of the best um, episode. I mean, one of the best emotional songs. Better than Run. Better than Math and Science. Better than Get Prompt. I, mm, I think it's slightly worse than Huggy Wuggies. Absolute Suffer, this is the same one, right? It is. It is. Uh, is a pretty scary OST. And I think that's awesome. So, for that, it gets a B tier. Die Mad. Ooh, this one's actually so, so, so good. Uh, I think I might put it right above these two. Yeah. Mm, yeah, fine. I'm gonna put it right above. And nothing personal, kid. And that's the last one in episode 7. Now we're on to episode 8, which I think has the best OST overall. Again, a very good emotional one. A tier. Falling with you. Okay. I... Mm, now this one's not as good as Die Mad. Or these two. It's going right... It's going very high A tier. But the scene is goes so much harder. And this one is the best. I, and I mean the best emotional song. That this show... That this... Besides Eternal Dream. Eternal Destroyer. Boom third best ost i just think it's a better version of disassembly required honestly like it is it goes so unbelievably hard and like one of the Eter eternal dream in the uh, background another thing like i said i loved a lot and yep it's pretty good uzi and the drone killers a better version of uzi the drone killer like i don't really know what to say but i think it's i guess it's about as good as gamer mom call that thing this is mostly meant for scare factor and once again, like I said, this one does this really good. So uh, I'm gonna say B tier. Okay, it's a very short and very okay OST. Uh, might be the worst one in in uh, in, uh whatever. You know what I mean? Fight me, by far the best OST. Has the best production. Has the best lyrics. Has the best background music. Uh, it fits with the theme of the show so incredibly well. The Nightcore theme is amazing, and it made it gives me goosebumps when I'm watching the the fight. This song is just by far the best one, and I don't think it's really close. Besides Eternal Dream. Okay, chat, we speed running now. Haha, uh -huh, yeah, dude, that's it. It's the ending song, and it's pretty. It does a pretty good job at that. It is a solid song. There you go. No, a little bit higher. Uh, yeah, that's good. Forever is once again going to be an S tier OST. I think this is a good spot for it. I think it is once again a lyric song. They they all go hard, and that one is just one of the best. This one is A tier, and both of the bite me's are uh, remixes are A tiers. They're not quite as good as the others, but they're still good. I think I think they're like right next to each other actually. Yep, and there you go. There's your list. They, the, the official, definitely, my opinion is the correct opinion, OST tier list. 
uh, there you go. You're welcome. If you liked the video, make sure to uh, like and subscribe because I'm trying to hit 3K soon and I want to make a burner drones video so I can hit that as soon as possible. So, yep, that's really it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.